Well, first of all, congratulations, oh, guys. Thank you. thank you. I love Wallace and Gromit, so I'm so excited for another movie. There you go, it's Gromit. They're so cute. <laughs> and these are the ones actually from the film. They are? Yeah, yeah absolutely. These, are the so these aren't stunt doubles, these are the actual, yeah, the actual they, ones they from bang, the movie. You know, oh my gosh, that's so yeah, cool. That's cool. cool. <laughs> it's incredible. <laughs> like the detail, it's amazing. So what do you think it is about Wallace and Gromit that has resonated with fans all over the world? Yeah, I mean, I, I have to pinch myself because I think back to college days of creating these characters and and now how big it's become. Yeah. You know, it's it's I think it's something to do with like the charm of the, the handmade, the clay animation with the fingerprints. Uh, you know, that people can spot the artist behind the animation. And, and also, I think the world, the world is a world of pet lovers and, yeah. Yeah. and the way Wallace and Gromit relate to each other and Gromit seems to be even more human, yeah. which I think kind of goes with many pet lovers, the way they view their yeah. pets. Yeah. And, and I think, uh, aside from being great entertainment, we're unashamedly British and handmade, you know, and there's, there's, uh, we sort of fly that flag proudly. And I think that's part of their charm. Yeah. Now, what has it been like working with Netflix? They've been such great partners um, and they've, and, They've embraced that Britishness. And, you know, they, re they recognize that that's a really a big part of what Wallace and Gromit are and, and Aardman as a studio. Um, and uh, yeah, we've, they've embraced us and, um, and, and here we are. Yes. Yeah, and they really uh, like respect the whole legacy of Wallace and Gromit. So they, they're very much like, I mean, they, they, they gave us very good notes when we were having little story issues, but uh, mostly, you know, they really gone with the flow and yeah. let us do what that make the film we dreamed of making. Yeah. Well, speaking of, what can you tease about this movie for fans? Um, well, we, we have let out there that a certain villainous penguin is back. Yes. Um, yeah. But um, I think the, the thing is, is that what's, what's a, I, I don't want to give too much away. You've got to watch it, basically. <laughs> That's I'm what watching I it say. after this, I yeah, can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's basically uh, a gnome noir yes. thriller. Yeah. Uh, we've invented a new subgenre. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> make about what you want. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. So, what was it about Feathers McGraw that made it his time to come back? You think? But it was, it was um, a story requirement. Really, it wasn't a let's make a film with feathers in it. Yeah. I think when you know when you started massaging the idea into shape, it needed a villain, and um, and uh, there he was staring <laughs> at us in the face. Yeah. Yeah, someone who needed more of a threat to Wallace and Gromit, and someone who had a personal vendetta. And because uh, the gnomes themselves didn't quite do it, they needed to be somebody behind the Norbuts. They call them Norbuts, sorry, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in, the, in the film. Uh, yeah, and who better than Feathers, who's been languishing in jail or, or, or the zoo for the last 30 years? I'm put there by Wallace and Gromit, you know, yes. so he wants to get his own back. Oh personal, my gosh. Very personal. <laughs> well, I love it. I can't wait. Thank you guys so much. Oh, thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Who could possibly be behind all this?